Leviticus is a book in the Old Testament which records the instructions that God gave to Moses at Mount Sinai. These instructions include a list of animals which are too unclean to eat. The list is divided into sections – fish, birds, insects, mammals, reptiles. The list of unclean birds includes ostriches, ravens and something called a tinshemeth. The list of unclean reptiles includes geckos, skinks and also, once again, the mysterious tinshemeth. But what is a tinshemeth? What kind of animal would fit into a list of birds and a list of reptiles? For hundreds of years, scholars struggled to solve this mystery, until 1997, when a physicist named Dr. Schroeder came up with a possible answer. He theorised that tinshemeth was the Hebrew word for an archaeopteryx. This dinosaur had feathers like a bird and scales like a reptile, which would explain why the creature was included on both of the lists. This theory raises all kinds of questions. Were Archaeopteryx still around when the Old Testament was written? Was God telling Moses to never eat dinosaurs even though they were already extinct? Probably not. Nowadays, most scholars agree on a different explanation. Tinshemeth actually means hissing in Hebrew. Instead of referring to a single animal, the word might refer to two different animals which both make hissing sounds. The tinshemeth on the list of birds was probably an owl, while the tinshemeth on the list of reptiles might have been a chameleon. Both of these animals make hissing sounds, so both of them were known as tinshemeth. This means that there isn't a dinosaur in the Bible. At least, not in Leviticus. There might be a dinosaur in the book of Job, but that's a topic for a future video.